A lot of people wonder when they read Romans chapter 12, what is Paul talking about when he's talking about renewing the mind? The interesting thing is when Paul deals with renewing the mind there, he says, uh, be not conformed to this world, implying that we can be conformed to this world and still be Christians. But then he says, but be ye transformed by, and this is the process, the means by which, by renewing your mind. Renewing the mind is basically agreeing with something and saying that's who I am or what I'm capable of doing. Renewing your mind is essentially conforming your thoughts to the Word of God, His promises of who you are in Him and what you already have. When it says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God, in the Greek that translates faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of Christ, Christos, or the anointed. So you need to be choosy with what you read. Also know this, not just any religious atmosphere or preaching is going to help you in renewing your mind. The Bible actually says in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 2 that the worshipers once purged should have had no more consciousness of sin. It's hard to renew your mind to walk in the forgiveness of God if you're constantly under condemnation and strife. In Ephesians chapter 4 he says be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Then he says that you may prove that which is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Focus your attention on God's Word, particularly the promises of Christ what He says about you, who you are in Him, uh, the things that Paul says about what we already have in Christ. Also avoid some of the hindrances, some of the legalism, the condemnation, uh, things that entertain, whether it's movies or music even, that sometimes get into tearing away the faith. Read a text like in Isaiah 53 where it talks about with His stripes you're healed, it means it, like it's not you're going to be healed someday or you can be healed. He's talking about in your born again spirit, you're completely healed. A guy by the name of Smith Wigglesworth believed so much that God would heal people and raise the dead, like what it says in the New Testament, that he practiced it. There's some people we've seen in history that renewed their mind to such a degree that it, it was just contagious. For instance, Charles Finney walked into a factory one time people fell under conviction, they shut down the factory for the rest of the week, and he preached the gospel there. I just want to encourage you, if you haven't already, start the process of renewing your mind. Start the process of being conformed to what God says about you rather than conformed to the world. It's so critical to the development of, of Christian life. Start believing it. Go after it. No, that's good. I needed you laughing and stuff. Read, pray, meditate. <laughs> <laughs>